Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, obviously, we're going to be talking about my May favorites and diving into, I'm pretty sure, actually, yeah, it's all makeup. It's all the makeup I've been loving. Um, I didn't have anything that was hair care, skin care, anything like that. But before we get diving too far into that side of things, I do want to mention, if you are relatively new here, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I put up three new videos a week. They go up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's around 7 a.m.-ish my time here in good old northern Michigan. So if you like a good early upload, if you're into beauty, I talk about all things that are new, old. I do shop my stashes. I'm starting to do declutters now and like talking about my beauty storage, which has been quite the process. So obviously we're going to be getting into that as well. And uh, yeah, we just talk about all of that sort of thing. Every once in a while we get into vlogs, we get into plus size clothing hauls and that sort of stuff. So if you like me, you like my style and you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that before you leave. I'm just saying, if you haven't done it yet, you should definitely check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. I am very active over on Instagram. It's, it's probably my favorite platform outside of YouTube. Obviously, this is where I spend a lot of my time, but I also like uh, Instagram for like that day-to-day, -day, the interaction that I get with you guys. Pretty active in my Insta stories. I like to hang out, even if it's just a day at work, my dogs, I'm taking a walk. I talk to you guys about, you know, favorite products or PR, like packages that come in, that sort of thing. And I think that that's it for the wrap up for the self promo. So let's go ahead and get into the products that I've been loving for this month. And uh, let's just, let's just start moving through it. So first things first, we have some cream products that we need to talk about. Now, these I feel like were kind of the theme of the month, cream products in general. Like this is just really where the last, I think, especially like three weeks has been pressing me towards. So first one we're going to talk about, because I think I reviewed this one first on my channel, and that would be Honest Beauty. Now, Honest Beauty is a company, it is founded by Jessica Alba, for those of you that don't know, and I feel like it's a very hit or miss brand, and I'd heard a lot about it. So I finally decided to take the initiative and just step right in and do a full video. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it up here. I go through and I test out quite literally every single product from Honest Beauty that is makeup related. And that is all the way from primer, all the way through to the very end with the setting spray and just the whole gamut. So again, if you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. But out of that video, I have a couple standout products that I'm going to be talking about in this video that I was very, very impressed with. And the first one being these cream blushes. So aptly named, of course, these are their cream cheek blushes. I have them in two different shades. I have rose pink and peony pink. And these shades are absolutely beautiful. So this one right here is rose pink. It's just a beautiful, beautiful dare I say, rose pink color. And uh, I love the formula and I love the texture of this. It's almost like a, a slightly sticky kind of formula, which I know sounds very off-putting. This is the other shade. This is peony pink right here. It's just a beautiful, light-toned, um, pinky shade. Again, I absolutely love this. So there's the first one, and then there is peony pink right there. They're very beautiful. They apply really nice. And I think with these, what stands out about them is the texture, because when I first, you know, started playing around with them, I know Notice that they almost have like a, a thickness or almost maybe, maybe you could say like a tackiness about them. I don't want to say tacky in the terms of like, um, like you stick together when you touch it or anything like that, but almost tacky in the sense that they have like more of a robustness to them. They really do just adhere to my foundation and I feel like they press in really nicely and they have a beautiful longevity to them. And the shades themselves are absolutely beautiful. They do give off more of like a satin kind of finish. So they're not overly glowy. They're not matte. They're just right in the middle. And I feel like they're just a beautiful, easy type cream product to apply. It's not something where you have to work on like blending it out a ton or buffing it in or, you know, doing anything weird with it. They're just a very easy breezy kind of product to use. And lately I've really been enjoying them. So I wanted to give those a shout out because again, out of the brand, you know, there were some things that stood out to me as beautiful, but these, I just felt like, holy cow, like th this for me was a standout product of the month, hands down. And then of course, while we're on the same train of cream products, we have to talk about Fenty because they had their huge iconic release of cream blushes and cream bronzers. And I want to say these have been out, like I've been using them for almost exactly 30 days. So it's like right around that month mark. And I've actually been really impressed with the variety and like the, the shades and how each one of them really does go on and like apply differently from the others. I feel like a lot of times with cream blushes, you know, when you're playing around with them, they, they all tend to look very similar in the end. And I feel like with the Fenty blushes, they don't do that. They all 
seem to stay very like individualized like if I go in with this pink it looks very different from this one which looks different from this mauvey pink and they're just very good at staying very differentiated one shade to the next which I really do appreciate especially as I go through and start falling in love with cream products all over again like I just I really appreciate that and I want to kind of draw attention to it now that being said out of all the cream blushes which I originally did a full face of new makeup which I will link up here and these cream products you know the Fenty cream blushes and bronzer they were mentioned in that video but for that video I had actually initially purchased I think four shades and uh, out of those four shades I'm going to talk about one it's my absolute favorite shade I've used it the most by far but I also want to mention that during Fenty's last sale that they had I did go through um, on their website and I picked out a couple more shades of these cream blushes just to keep working with them testing them out so I'm mentioning this one as a favorite shade but I want you guys to know I did pick up some more colors that I'm going to work with the cream blush that I chose is in the shade Petal Poppin which is so so beautiful and I didn't notice until I actually sat down to film this video this is I, I thought that this was funny it gave me a good giggle so this is the shade Petal Poppin that I chose from Fenty and then the shade that I chose from Honest Beauty is Peony Pink look at <laughs> these two colors like guys what do you think do I do I have a type or what like what do you what do you think here now I'm just gonna give you a little swatch because I'm gonna prove to you that they're not exactly the same like I might be basic okay but they are a freckle different okay give me some credit so this right here is the they, they look so similar on my hand it's not even funny but this one right here is Fenty and then right next to that that is the Honest Beauty so you can see the one from Fenty has a little bit more of what I would call like a pink base to it while the one from Honest Beauty I think has a little bit more of a coral base so they're just very slightly different but I think on the cheeks they look different because they have a different finish the one from Honest Beauty I feel like has more of like a satin kind of finish like it's more of a you know what not even satin I would say more of a skin like finish whereas the one from Fenty you can see right here on the edge it actually has more of like a um, a lilt or a gleam to it versus again the Honest one which no matter how I tilt them in the light you know they don't have that level of like a, a shine or a glow to them so again the color might be similar in pan they look almost identical but once you start diving into the finishes and the textures I think that's what sets apart cream products one from the next I'm still working with the other Fenty blushes because obviously I'm not gonna speak for every single one because I haven't used them all multiple times but so far that is my favorite I've used it time and time and time again I think it's a beautiful look on the cheek and I'm a big fan so that being said um, about the blush I really don't have too much to add about the bronzer because I feel like a lot of the same things I just said about the blush are true here as well now just a couple of things to mention about this just to kind of hit the bullet points again it, it is similar to the cream blush but I still want to throw them out there um, I really like the consistency it has a beautiful um, like slip to it so blending it out is very easy you can build it up or you can shear it out depending on how much coverage you want so it's versatile in that fact I like the fact that it has a little lilt to it it's not skin like and it's not satin I would say it's like just a little bit above satin I feel like it just it helps kind of bring my skin to life a little bit extra and I like that all right so from there I think that we We've talked about cream products enough. Let's go ahead and bust in to my other products. I think these ones we can get through a little bit faster. So first up, I'm going to talk about Pat McGrath because I have two items that I've been really enjoying. This one is called their Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I have it in the shade Light. And then this is their Skin Perfection Concealer. And I have this in the shade L1. So I believe this is the lightest shade of this. And again, light would be the lightest shade of this powder. Go figure. So these are the two side by side. You can definitely see how white this is especially next to the concealer it's like glow in the dark white okay it's very stark in pan and initially I was kind of thrown off by that because I thought I wouldn't like it I didn't I did I, I just I'm not a huge fan of powders like this in general much less when you tell me like oh it's an under eye powder like it's just gonna it's gonna what make my under eyes glow like what am I gonna do with this so I was really skeptical going into it and I gotta be honest guys in going through and using these products both together as well as alone I've been very impressed so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna focus on the concealer first because I think that's like the typical order of things um, so for me this concealer like I said I have it in the shade L1 and what's really been um, uh, sticking out to me with this concealer has been how creamy it is but also how well it blends out and maintains its coverage 
and I'm just gonna show you I want to blend out just this little piece right here it it seems like such a thick concealer like if you're looking at it on screen it just like I feel like it's kind of a turnoff right like if you're looking at it you're like oh god like is, she, is it moving does it get thicker it looks it looks almost um like it has no emolliency to it it just looks very stiff and I'm telling you under the eyes it could not be farther from the truth this concealer is so unbelievably mobile like it just I just blends out I don't think mobile was the right word but it's very easy to blend and it's very easy to work with I think one of the things that I really like about this concealer you know even more so than how it blends out and how it looks and just all all that type of stuff which is great and it makes application a breeze but I really like the way that the finish of this sits under my eyes it has a very nice natural satin like skin like finish so even if my eyes are like leaning drier on one day and oily on another day somehow this still just applies and it's always the same and I feel like I can always count on the finish of this to look very natural and very skin like which I've really grown to appreciate and again the coverage is absolutely beautiful but it doesn't look like a thick or cakey coverage which I've, I personally really like because I can't tell you how many times I have had a concealer that when I apply it to my under eyes it does look thick and robust and it's just it's it's just not a cute situation so I've really been enjoying that and then from there moving into the powder this one I like but I was initially like I mentioned very turned off by it like the packaging is a little bit clumsy for me I'm not a big fan of the clasp right here I feel like it's hard to get into I don't like how small the mirror is like there are just several aspects to this that kind of turned me off when I first saw it you know just for price and presentation and all of that um, but once you can get past all of that and you start dealing with the product while I was initially I will admit a little bit turned off by how stark white this was I have grown more and more impressed with this powder now I have used it a few times to set my under eye and I will say that as a setting powder it's not necessarily my favorite just because the I've talked about this before but my crevasses and my under eye bags honey those things run deeper than a river okay and it's just very hard for me to set them so I do need a more intense powder for that part of my my makeup routine if you will but what I've really been enjoying this product for has been brightening up my under eye and dusting away baking powder so I'll actually go in with a brush here like this is my Kaleidos H1 brush and I'll go in um, to this like say I have bake on my under eye or they just look a little bit dull or whatever I'll just go in here and I won't grab a lot and you do have to be careful because it does kind of puff up a little bit and all it takes is the tiniest amount and then I'll just go right under my eye and just ever so gently kind of dust this around and it's so finely milled that you don't have to worry about it caking up your under eye it doesn't add any additional bulk but it just ever so gently and so beautifully adds that brightness to your under eye and it does a beautiful job at smoothing out your under eye too which I really like as far as like fine lines and it looking like cracky or dry I feel like this does a nice job dusting away bake and kind of helping to eliminate that that dried out look on your under eye that they sometimes get after you've set them with a powder so for me I've just been really liking this this one I don't have much to say on I think I've talked about it before in other videos but this is a new mascara I have been enjoying this is from ABH and this is their lash brag volumizing mascara and I can't remember if this was in a favorites or not so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it but this one I have been loving so much for giving me like thicker more voluminous lashes it has the um the thicker like bristle wand on it and this is my favorite type of a bristle wand right here I like them um because they I feel like they deliver more product and they give me more volume and it just it applies really quick which I really like so again there's not much to say about it I've just been really really enjoying this and you guys know I don't wear false lashes so I do need a way to create like that that thickness and that volume pretty quickly and I just I've been really enjoying it for that reason I feel like it delivers what I need in a nice fast pace and it's just it's a great mascara so I do recommend this and then for lips I have a few products here these are all from Honest Beauty so I'm not going to spend much time again you can check out the video if you're curious but I did grab all four I think these are all four of the lip products that I talked about in that video but I have their I think this is BFF right yep this is their BFF liquid lipstick this is a freaking amazing liquid lip I've really been enjoying this I've actually worn it a lot in the past month this is a beautiful shade beautiful texture very very soft matte it's a comfort matte not a dry down I think out of everything actually from honest this one probably surprised me the most because you guys know I don't wear liquid lips almost ever because they're very uncomfortable I'm very sensitive to like textures and dry downs and that sort of thing and this is just an amazing amazing liquid lip I highly recommend and actually you know what I could probably put a little of this on because I think I've talked off almost all of my gloss I was wearing the lunar beauty gloss before this 
And I think I could just, you know, huh, do a little bit of this and put some on and show you how cute it is because it's beautiful, you guys. Absolutely stunning. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. I actually had to go get this one. Actually, no, I had to go get this one and then two of the other ones out of my purse as well because I have been using this so freaking much. Like, guys, this, I just highly recommend it. Again, the shade is beautiful. It's BFF and the formula is amazing. Highly, highly recommend that. And then the other things that I have here, this is the Lip Balm. This is in White Nectarine, which is just, you know, like the white universal shade. It doesn't really add much. It gives a little, like, shine to your lips, but nothing too crazy. I've been using this a lot. It's a really nice lip balm, very smooth texture. I do have this in another shade. It's in a pinky color. I don't have it with me. It's I probably left that one in my purse if I'm being honest, but I really like the texture again It's very soft. They're a very nice tinted lip balm feel if you go with the color or you can go with this one Either way they feel really nice on the lips They do keep you hydrated and they're just very comfortable to not only wear but they're easy to apply great to work with And they layer well under other products too Which is kind of an added bonus if you're playing with lipsticks matte liquid lipsticks that sort of thing And then the pencils that I have right here. These are again all also from Honest. One of them is, this is the Demi Matte in Marsala. And then this one is the Lush Sheer Lipstick in Sheer Chestnut. And this one kind of surprised me, this Sheer Chestnut business, because I didn't think that I would get nearly as much use out of this one as I do. It has a beautiful look on the lips. It looks very like a hydrating kind of lip product. It's absolutely amazing, very easy to throw on, to wear. And the way that I've kind of been doing it, like this lipstick right here that I'm wearing, if I'm going more medium, medium coverage and, and I want to kind of vamp up my look, I've been going liquid lip. If I want to sheer it down and I'm going light coverage, you know, light eyes, that whole thing, I've been going with this one. And then this one right here, the Demi Matte in Marsala, this is just a beautiful, beautiful shade. Again, very easy to apply, but it does have more of a color opacity to it. So keep that in mind. Again, for me, this has been more, I would say something I would wear along this kind of a day where it's more medium coverage. I'm looking a little bit more refined, a little bit more put together. But overall, you guys, that is it. Those are my month-end favorites. Please be sure to let me know yours down below and uh, let me know as well if you have tried out any of these. What do you think? Did they work for you? You guys know the deal. Leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And of course, as I said at the beginning of the video, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications here on YouTube. Check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. And all right, you guys, I think that's everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!